Okay, there we go. Recording has started. All right. Start with me. Awesome. All right, welcome everyone. And congratulations on being part of our inaugural new team, Virtual Connect. So you're the first group that's part of this new initiative, this new um, event that we're holding. My name is Ginger Miller. I'm the Director of Health and Benefits at Utz Quality Foods. And on behalf of the rest of the team at Utz Quality Foods, I want to extend a warm welcome to you all. We know how overwhelming it can be to join a new organization and get acclimated to your new role and learn the culture, the people, and the organization as a whole. So we're excited to offer you an opportunity to get to know us through this session and be an ongoing resource for you. So Uts is a national organization with lots of growth and opportunities. Sometimes working remotely or in different locations, you may feel a little disconnected but we want to create this community that you can reach out to and get involved with. We love new ideas and we thrive on supporting one, one another. We know that we are all better together. So the group on this call comes from all areas of the business and locations across the country. All of us were in your position as a new team member at one time, but through organization like the organizations like the Uts Women's Mentoring Group and mentors within the organization, we quickly came to appreciate the Uts culture and this collaboration that can occur through these connections that are developed between associates near and far. Just to give you a little insight, the Uts Women's Mentoring Group, the group that's sponsoring this call today, was formed in 2014 as a way for women in the organization to learn from one another, gain confidence, build skills, and even discover opportunities for career advancement with the help and support one another. The group sponsors educational, philanthropic, networking, team building, and mentoring activities. The presenters of this presentation are all contributors to the success of the Uts Women's Mentoring Group and to Uts. But just because it's sponsored by the Uts Women's Mentoring Group does not mean you have to be female to participate in these session, uh, sessions. We all participate and all support one another. We hope that you find this information helpful to you as you start your new journey here at Uts. Please feel free to reach out to anyone in this group about any topic if we don't, if we don't know the answer, we'll at least get you in the right direction. Also, feel free to add questions to the chat here in the virtual meeting. We would love to hear your ideas or ways that you think you would like to contribute to the culture of the organization. Thank you for your time and interest here. I look forward to working with you. And once again, welcome to the Uts family. So with that, Tiffany, next slide. I advanced it. Can you see it? I can't. I oh, know we have I an agenda. <laughs> so no one is seeing the advanced slide. I, I saw it move. I see the agenda now. Yeah. Ginger, you don't I, see it? Oh, I do now. Yeah, okay. that's great. Okay, so you can read here on the agenda. Um, today, we're going to start with the mission and purpose. And like I said, um, contributors, we're going to have all different contributors to each topic today, uh, starting out with the mission and purpose, um, introductions and a welcome to us, a little UTS 101, getting familiar with all of the different systems within UTS, what to expect on our future calls and some open discussion and question and answer sessions. So again, if you'd like to put any comments or questions in the chat, we will welcome that. And with that, we'll kick it off awesome. to Jess, um, I believe. Yeah, that's me. So um, thank you again for for those of you that have participated. This is new for us, so we are we are learning as we go. Um, we're as a as a pillar, um, a mentorship pillar is a group within the Us Women's Mentoring Group. And as we've discussed, how do we engage more employees? You know, we really recognize that there is. Um, we're growing so fast through acquisition as well as organic growth. We've got a lot of new employees joining the organization, like Ginger said, from different geographies, as well as um, different ways that you're joining, whether it be new hire or through acquisition. Um, we wanted to make sure and, um, you know, really have an avenue for our new employees to get to know other people across um, functions, across geographies, and create 
natural mentor mentee type relationships. So um, that our HR department is working through some kind of formal programs. So we really wanted to build this out there for those of you that are new to the organization. And frankly, for those of us that have been around a little while to get to meet new people and build new relationships and kind of have that creative or connectivity, excuse me, across the organization. Um, you know, obviously joining us, I, I um, have seen this and I think other people have seen it. There's a lot of there's a lot of um, unique um, things about us that makes us really special. And so coming into a new organization, it can be a little strange. So we want to put ourselves out there, provide some of those tips and tricks up front, but then also be a resource for you want to call and, and ask a dumb question we'll say um it's uh that's what we're here for and that's what we want to make sure everybody feels good about so um like i said the the primary focus of these calls is really for new hires and for um new employees that have come into the organization but we want to make sure i mean i've gotten a lot of benefit out of connecting with you know with people through these different avenues and so i think it's a really great way for all of us no matter how long we've been with the organization to um again to foster those more natural relationships mentor mentee type relationships all right i think we'll go into the next slide so this is an introduction of this particular group so we have worked together to kind of build out um, these calls and then also anything else that comes up through this group or other ways that we engage employees if you have ideas, feel free to bring them forward. Um, we do have another PowerPoint on our website, on our SharePoint site that has more information about each of these um, people as well as contact information. So, you know, if you see somebody, you're like, oh, where are they? Or, you know, I wanna get to know somebody in marketing a little more. You can go and find out a little bit more about TIFF or, you know, any of the others. So we'll go through and introduce ourselves real quick. Um, what I do ask is anyone joining the call, um, whether you're a part of the group, new employee, or you just want to listen in and see what's going on, throw your name, your function, and your geographic location into the chat. Um, I think it'll be interesting for all of us to kind of see what that looks like across the across the group. Um, I guess I'm out of order, but I'll since I'm introducing it, I'll throw, go ahead and throw myself out there. I'm Jess Reese. I'm in sales and I have been with us for uh, just over five years now and am located um, in the Hanover office. So we'll go around. Hi, I'm Sharon Cobb. I'm in supply chain planning and I'm based in the Dallas office. I came through the on the border acquisition. I can't even tell you if that was one year ago or three years ago because things have gone so quick and so fast. So um, I've been with on the border team for 17 years, but I think it's somewhere in between one to three years. That's awesome. I think I'm next in line. My name is Kelly Sanders. Um, I work in our human resources department and I'm located in our 900 High Street facility here in Hanover. Um, I've been with the company going on 10 years now and um, I've been in HR since I, I joined. So it's great to see some new faces and uh, welcome you to the company. Hey everyone, I'm Tiffany Just. I work in marketing as Just referenced. I've been with UTS for 23 years. So I work out of the Hanover corporate headquarter office um, and have spent all of my years in marketing. So I'm very happy to be here to share some of the knowledge that I know about us and to welcome you all to the organization. Okay. Sarah's not here, okay. I don't, yeah. Okay, um, okay, and then you guys, and Jess. Um, Tishiana? Yes, okay. I'm Tashiana Edwards. I'm with the Cash App Sales Department. I'm with Vintners Acquisition. I've been with the company for about two, two and a half years now, and I'm located out here in Chicago. Hello, my name is Joanna Vite with the Purchasing Department. I've been with us for close to a year next month, so it'll be my first anniversary. Um, I am located at the Goodyear, Arizona plant, so welcome everyone. Awesome, happy anniversary. Thank you. 
Good morning. My name is Gina Velasquez. I'm in customer logistics. I'm based out of our San, our San Diego. I came to us um, via acquisition through Good Health and um, welcome. Hi, I'm Donna Rodehever. I'm the Senior Accounts Receivable Manager. I've been here for almost nine years uh, and I'm based in the Hanover PA office. Uh, I officially joined the UTS Women's Mentoring Group in 2017, and because of that, I've had the, the privilege and honor of working closely with some very talented people. Uh, a lot of them are in this group now, uh, not only within the UTS community, but also the Hanover community. I served as chair in 2019 to 2020 and will continue to support the efforts of the UTS Women's Mentoring Group. It's an awesome group. And I believe Michelle's not on the call today. So once again, I'm Ginger Miller. I'm Director of Health and Benefits. I'm in the Hanover, Pennsylvania office. Um, I have been here 9.85 years. I have my 10th anniversary. Don't, don't, you accounting people don't judge. Um, <laughs> but somewhere in February or so, I have my 10th anniversary. Um, it it's definitely has afforded me many, many experiences networking wise, skill advancement wise um, with the US Women's Mentoring Group. Also, um, to what Donna was saying, lots of different uh, mentoring and networking opportunities. So welcome to y'all. I'm excited for you and hope you find it as valuable as we have. Alrighty, back to Joanna. Um, a great kickoff for today is to give perspective on the UTS family of brands. While we have some very recognizable national brands that are power horses um, of growth for the company, we also have smaller brands that are located in specific areas of the country and have strong consumer followings as well. As the map shows, we have UTS momentum all over the nation from our Tim's brand up in Washington to our Dirty brand in Florida. Next up, the 100 years of UTS success. 100 years, that's pretty incredible. Um, so we turned 100 years old back in 2021, and our heritage is apparent across our portfolio, which you can see here. Um, Uts is our namesake and our largest power brand, but over the years we've had acquisitions um, that have helped to grow our portfolio, giving Uts brand um, national reach with regional relevance. Notable acquisitions over the past 15 years include Zaps, Golden Flake, Boulder Canyon and on the border, amongst many other strong brands. We've also acquired additional um, production facilities and expanded route infrastructure to support the growing demand of our brands. Newsweek has recognized us brands as the number one trusted food and beverage company in the in the United States. Um, and what's awesome about that is that consumers and our retail pro, uh, partners love us. We have goals, large goals, uh, for our future that support our mission of delivering joy through food. So again, we're celebrating 100 years, and because of that, we've seen significant growth. Uh, this slide is a great visual, both of these heat maps, of how much growth we've experienced in the last seven years alone. In 2015, we had a very strong infrastructure, primarily in the mid-Atlantic and Northeast, with some business expanding west of the Mississippi. As we've acquired additional companies and expanded our distribution network across the country, you can see where we've really strengthened our business throughout the entire East, making a presence in the central US, the Midwest, and a strong foundation in the Pacific Northwest and California. It's been really exciting to see the growth as well as how much opportunity we still have as we strive toward our goal of spreading joy through food and being the second largest salty snack company in the U.S. Yes, soon to be the second largest salty snack manufacturer. Currently, Utz Brands is the third largest salty snack manufacturer behind PepsiCo, which owns Frito-Lay, Kellogg's, which owns Pringles. Um, and we recently overtook uh, one of our competitors, Campbell's, which owns Snyder of Hanover Pretzels and Cape Cod Potato Chips. But we are very proud to be the top, one of the top manufacturers in the country that is growing not only in dollars, but in units, as you can see through that box in the middle of the page. 
On the right hand side of the page, we have a breakout of all of our different brands, with Utz obviously being our largest and strongest brand on the border, good Golden Flake, and Zaps as well. And that correlates to the different categories of snacks that we compete in at the bottom of the page. With Utz being our biggest brand and uh, a bulk of our potato chips, potato chips is our largest snack category that we compete in. Tortilla chips is second, and that aligns with the On the Border brand. And pretzels is third. Again, Utz and now Zaps is competing in, pe in pretzels, as well as some of our other smaller brands. So in order to get to that number two um, snack manufacturer in the country, we have some key focus areas that we are working towards uh, for 2023. Obviously, our largest brands that we've talked about, Utz on the border, Zaps, and even Boulder, are a focus for us. How do we get there? We know that the consumer wants convenience with their snacks, so they have many different types of packages that they buy snacks in. We are always looking for new ways to reach and to satisfy our consumers. And some of the different types of packages you can see on the page there include barrels and then smaller variety packs that have different types of snacks inside. We've mentioned too about the different acquisitions over the years that have allowed us to have local favorites across the country. We have loyal consumer following with those brands, but it also allows us to introduce us and some of our other bigger brands into those market areas where those smaller brands are located. Innovation is essentially important to the growth of us. Um, and this is centered around different trends, new products, different types of packages. One of the areas of focus for 2023 is with better for you options. Better for you meaning ingredients that consumers with dietary constraints or specific dietary needs are looking for to satisfy their snacks. And that is evident with our Boulder Canyon brand and our Good Health brand. Um, but we also have some collaborations with other um, types of food companies that allow us to have some fun and you know come up with new ideas to grow our business. And then lastly, you know we want to reach consumers with messaging where we know it's easiest to find them and everyone has either a phone or a computer or some type of electronic device that we can easily send messaging and target whether it be through social media, through text, through emails to share information about our brands and our new products. All of these pillars that you see on the page are focused for us for the growth to get us to that next level and the number two snack manufacturer in the country. Now, speaking of social media, we have an entire team of people that leads our social media presence across many of our brands. This is a great way to spread our specific brands messaging and spread more joy. Please feel free to type in the name of any of our brands on any of our four major social media platforms shown and follow along to learn even more about all of our brands. Shannon, you there? I think you're up. Yes, yeah, sorry, I didn't unmute. Oh, no, that's okay. I wasn't sure if it was just me. Still a lot of tech issues. <laughs> sorry. I know, I'm still trying to figure everything out. Um, okay, so as you begin your onboarding, you're going to hear many, many different systems um, mentioned. And um, so what I've done is I've put a list together here for the most common systems that you'll maybe hear, as well as the system experts and what those systems are used for so that you can go back and reference as needed. The ones that I really want you to tie into are the Crunch Connection, which is the main kind of, a, it's almost like a social media platform, but it's internal for all of the company information. So you can find tons of um, company information. You'll see anniversaries for people. You'll see birthdays for people. You'll see contests being run, um, all of those things in the Crunch Connection. So definitely that's a great way to key into the community as well. Um, all things employee related information is there. Um, ADP payroll, you want to access your payroll. There's a good link there to your benefits page. Um, and then also how to find the intranet so that you understand where files are located and, and shared um, drives may be that you need. So I won't digest the entire um, slide, but this will be available on our SharePoint so that you can go back and reference it anytime. That way, if something comes up where you're like, 
I know they said this system, but I really have no clue. You can always go back and reference or feel free to reach out to us and, you know, we can get you the information if we don't have the answer. All right, so what to expect next? You know, first and foremost, we hope that this was valuable time as you're starting your week and your journey with us. Um, you know, we're gonna ask that you help us spread the word, um, help us spread the word on um, perhaps what you learned today um, or, or some of the fun things that um, you've experienced as you've started your new career with us. Um, help us welcome future family members as we bring new individuals into the company. Um, but most importantly, we hope that you reach out to us. Um, we've intentionally structured this team to be able to provide different, you know, uh, facets and departments within the organization. So as has been mentioned throughout the call, um, you'll have access to this information and access to each of us. So we hope that you reach out and ask questions as they may um, arise. We're going to hold quarterly um, connections just like this um, with varying topics, so we'll be sure to communicate that out. Um, as Shanda mentioned, Crunch Connections is a great resource for us as we um, work to communicate, so you'll see some communications there as well. Um, dates to come specifically for March and June, um, and we also want to make sure that you have access to our SharePoint site to be able to access the deck and contact info for all of us today um, and keep updated with some of the information to come. And last but not least, um, sharing the UTS Women's Mentoring Group um, email address that you can also easily access and reach out as you um, embark on your journey here with us at UTS. Um, so I think, you know, oh, let's see. Oh, Gina, you're on. Here we go. Hi. Last yeah. but not least, um, here's <laughs> our open discussions and questions. Um, what would you like to see in the future calls? And that's something that you guys can ask any of us um, once we're off this call, because I'm sure there's a lot of questions that everybody has right now. And what would help you the most? So just put this in the chat. And then um, we have a great uh, apparel store and the link is below. And we welcome you to visit our website for, um, for great products that you guys can purchase, especially around the holidays. So I don't think I've ever, I don't think I even knew how to get to the apparel store. So that's really cool. Yeah, it's, it's on the internet actually as well. That's, that's awesome. where that link will take you to because that's where I went and found it. <laughs> that's I awesome. got the cutest little um little hiking little cap that I wore over the weekend on my long hike and everybody loved it. So That's so cool. There's a lot of yeah. stuff out there too. I had no idea. So there we go. <laughs> that's, that's where this came from, by the way. All the brands are represented as well. Love it. Love it. Love it. That's awesome. Well, um, oh, yeah, I think I, we said, I, you know, we're wanted this to be short and sweet. Hopefully, hopefully you found some value. Um, we we definitely want to hear your feedback one on how can we engage more people? Um, how can we you know what topics would be, you know, helpful um, if, if you guys have any questions now? I know there's, you know, several people on the call, but feel free to speak up. We we scheduled a little extra time in case anyone had questions or wanted to chat. I just wanted to share something. Can y'all hear me? Yes. yes. Okay. Um, I was watching Reacher on Amazon Prime. It's this little series, it's action or whatever. But there was a scene in the series where they he raided the, the vendor machine and she was talking about the Zaps chips, the what? Zaps Voodoo chips. I was like, oh my gosh, we make this. Awesome. <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool. That, that is cool. <laughs> yeah, you'll find a you'll find probably some of our products or our brands pop up across many different types of shows. We actually, you know, have an agency that works with us to help place some of our products in those shows. So in most cases, we're pretty aware when that happens and we do share it through our social media or through Crunch Connection so that you can be aware and look for it too. But it is pretty exciting when we get to see all of our items on TV. That's really cool. 
Yeah, they had a nice shot of the label. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Love that. Anything else? Any other? I will say looks just like real quick. Oh, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say it looks like Michael says that he sees the S brands in the office a lot. So. Oh, yes. Yes. The show the office. So yes. I think that that's the I think that's the biggest place that I've seen it as well as Marv on TV. Yeah, our favorite episode is when they were, um, I think, competing and seeing how many cheese balls they could fit um, in their mouths on the office. So I love to go back and watch those shows now, too, because it still holds up. <laughs> that's so cool. Yay. Thanks, Raymond. That's awesome. I will say joining um because I joined before we went public, before we did the ERP, before and but not quite as long as Tiff <laughs> did. But um just in the five years I've been here, one of the things that's constant is everybody's so excited to help each other, to meet new people, to bring them into the family and and help guide, which is why I was really excited to be a part of this and and for us to be able to kick off this call and, you know, and I know we'll get better and better. Um, so I'm excited that you guys coming in are seeing that as well. That's cool. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I on board with a lot of people that, you know, I work directly with and I always say to them, you know, anything that you have questions on, please feel free to come to me because if I don't have the answer, I probably know how to go and find the answer for you. So that was one of the biggest reasons I wanted to join this group is to continue to try to share and to help people that had questions and may not know where to go to find answers. And it's been really great to be part of this group with these ladies and and work towards helping all of our new employees and anyone, like Jeff said, who has been here for a while, because we're all learning from each other, too, um, as we move forward. Well, for all the bad that COVID did to us, I think one of the good things is that we have been able to connect virtually like this. Mm -hmm. And so as we grew through COVID, um, our capabilities of doing things virtually has, so that allows us to do more things like this, more events and connect with our team members across country. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Awesome. Well, um, thank you. Thank you all for joining. Um, we like we said, we'll have the links out there on our SharePoint. Um, we'll make sure we get this out to all the attendees as well as, um, you know, the um, I guess our next communication as well as dates for the next calls. Uh, feel free to share. Even if people weren't able to make it, send to your teams. Um, we'd love to hear feedback from, from anyone out there. So 